Nikola Tesla was a Serbian-American physicist, inventor, electrical engineer, mechanical engineer and futurist best known for his contributions to the design of the modern alternating current electricity supply system. Tesla gained experience in telephony and electrical engineering before emigrating to the United States in 1884 to work for Thomas Edison in New York City. He soon struck out on his own with financial backers, setting up laboratories and companies to develop a range of electrical devices. His patented AC induction motor and transformer were licensed by George Westinghouse, who also hired Tesla for a short time as a consultant. His work in the formative years of electric power development was involved in a corporate alternating current, direct current, war of currents, as well as various patent battles. Tesla went on to pursue his ideas of wireless lighting and electricity distribution in his high-voltage, high-frequency power experiments in New York and Colorado Springs and made early pronouncements on the possibility of wireless communication with his devices. He tried to put these ideas to practical use in his ill-fated attempt at intercontinental wireless transmission, which was his unfinished Warden Clifford Tower project. In his lab he also conducted a range of experiments with mechanical oscillators, generators, electrical discharge tubes, and early X-ray imaging. He also built a wireless-controlled boat, one of the first ever exhibited. Tesla was renowned for his achievements and showmanship, eventually earning him a reputation in popular culture as an archetypal, mad scientist. His patents earned him a considerable amount of money, much of which was used to finance his own projects with varying degrees of success. He lived most of his life in a series of New York hotels, through his retirement. He died on 7 January 1943. His work fell into relative obscurity after his death. But in 1960 the General Conference on Weights and Measures named the SI unit of magnetic flux density the Tesla in his honor. There has been a resurgence in interest in Tesla in popular culture since the 1990s. Early years Tesla was born on 10 July, O.S. 28 June, 1856 into a Serb family in the village of Smiljan, Austrian Empire. His father, Milutin Tesla, was an Orthodox priest. Tesla's mother, Thukka Tesla, whose father was also an Orthodox priest, had a talent for making home craft tools, mechanical appliances, and the ability to memorize Serbian epic poems. Thukka had never received a formal education. Nikola credited his eidetic memory and creative abilities to his mother's genetics and influence. Tesla's progenitors were, from western Serbia, near Montenegro. Tesla was the fourth of five children. He had an older brother named Dane and three sisters, Milka, Angelina and Marika. Dane was killed in a horse-riding accident when Nikola was five. In 1861, Tesla attended the lower, or, primary, school in Smiljan where he studied German, arithmetic, and religion. In 1862, the Tesla family moved to Gospik, Austrian Empire, where Tesla's father worked as a pastor. Nikola completed lower, or, primary, school, followed by the lower real gymnasium, or, normal school. In 1870, Tesla moved to Karlovac to attend school at the higher real gymnasium, where he was profoundly influenced by a math teacher, Martin Sekulic. The classes were held in German, as it was a school within the Austro-Hungarian military frontier. Tesla was able to perform integral calculus in his head, which prompted his teachers to believe that he was cheating. He finished a four-year term in three years, graduating in 1873. In 1873, Tesla returned to his birth town, Smiljan. Shortly after he arrived, Tesla contracted cholera. He was bedridden for nine months and was near death multiple times. Tesla's father, in a moment of despair, promised to send him to the best engineering school if he recovered from the illness. In 1874, Tesla evaded being drafted into the Austro-Hungarian army in Smiljan by running away to Tomingaj, near Grakak. 
There, he explored the mountains in Hunter's garb. Tesla said that this contact with nature made him stronger, both physically and mentally. He read many books while in Toming Arge, and later said that Mark Twain's works had helped him to miraculously recover from his earlier illness. In 1875, Tesla enrolled at Austrian Polytechnic in Graz, Austria, on a military frontier scholarship. During his first year, Tesla never missed a lecture, earned the highest grades possible, passed nine exams, started a Serbian cultural club, and even received a letter of commendation from the dean of the technical faculty to his father, which stated, Your son is a star of first rank. Tesla claimed that he worked from 3 a.m. to 11 p.m., no Sundays or holidays accepted. He was mortified when his father made light of those hard-won honors. After his father's death in 1879, Tesla found a package of letters from his professors to his father, warning that unless he were removed from the school, Tesla would be killed through overwork. During his second year, Tesla came into conflict with Professor Poche over the Gram Dynamo, when Tesla suggested that commutators weren't necessary. At the end of his second year, Tesla lost his scholarship and became addicted to gambling. During his third year, Tesla gambled away his allowance and his tuition money, later gambling back his initial losses and returning the balance to his family. Tesla said that he conquered his passion then and there, but later he was known to play billiards in the U.S. When exam time came, Tesla was unprepared and asked for an extension to study, but was denied. He never graduated from the university and did not receive grades for the last semester. In December 1878, Tesla left Graz and severed all relations with his family to hide the fact that he dropped out of school. His friends thought that he had drowned in the Mur River. Tesla went to Maribor, where he worked as a draftsman for 60 florins a month. He spent his spare time playing cards with local men on the streets. In March 1879, Milutin Tesla went to Maribor to beg his son to return home, but Nikola refused. Nikola suffered a nervous breakdown at around the same time. On 24 March 1879, Tesla was returned to Gospic under police guard for not having a residence permit. On 17 April 1879, Milutin Tesla died at the age of 60 after contracting an unspecified illness. During that year, Tesla taught a large class of students in his old school, Higher Real Gymnasium, in Gospic. In January 1880, two of Tesla's uncles put together enough money to help him leave Gospic for Prague where he was to study. Unfortunately, he arrived too late to enroll at Charles Ferdinand University, he never studied Greek, a required subject, and he was illiterate in Czech, another required subject. Tesla did, however, attend lectures at the university, although, as an auditor, he did not receive grades for the courses. In 1881, Tesla moved to Budapest to work under Ferenc Puskas at a telegraph company, the Budapest Telephone Exchange. Upon arrival, Tesla realized that the company, then under construction, was not functional. So he worked as a draftsman in the central telegraph office instead. Within a few months, the Budapest Telephone Exchange became functional and Tesla was allocated the chief electrician position. During his employment, Tesla made many improvements to the central station equipment and claimed to have perfected a telephone repeater or amplifier, which was never patented nor publicly described. Working for Edison in 1882, Tesla began working for the Continental Edison Company in France designing and making improvements to electrical equipment. In June 1884, he relocated to New York City where he was hired by Thomas Edison to work at his Edison machine works on Manhattan's Lower East Side. Tesla's work for Edison began with simple electrical engineering and quickly progressed to solving more difficult problems. Tesla was offered the task of completely redesigning the Edison company's direct current generators. 
In 1885, he said that he could redesign Edison's inefficient motor and generators, making an improvement in both service and economy. According to Tesla, Edison remarked, There's $50,000 in it for you, if you can do it. This has been noted as an odd statement from an Edison whose company was stingy, with pay and who did not have that sort of cash on hand. After months of work, Tesla fulfilled the task and inquired about payment. Edison, saying that he was only joking, replied, Tesla, you don't understand our American humor. Instead, Edison offered a $10 a week raise over Tesla's $18 per week salary. Tesla refused the offer and immediately resigned.